So, what's up, guys? Here, well, here, and I'm back with our 2K video. And today, I'm showing you the best methods to get your badges in 2K21. Uh, I'll show you in this video how to get shooting badges, playmaking badges, defensive badges, finishing badges, all that stuff, bro. Uh, it's gonna be a banger video. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. And yeah, let's get into it. So, as you can see, this build is an offensive threat 89 overall. But. First, what you want to do, um, you want to go to options, and you want to go to settings, and you want to go pro difficulty, and then five minute quarters, okay? Pro difficulty, five minute quarters, um, because five minutes, you know, the game's just faster, and then pro, you'll be able to do, like, a lot more stuff, you'll be able to throw more lobs, and it's just gonna be, like, all around easier. And yeah, as I said, as, as I said before, this is an offensive threat, 89 overall, you'll get to 86 three-pointer, and I have six shooting badges, um, I don't have that many badges, as you can see, they're, like, silver and bronze and stuff. But yeah, you want to just start your next My Career game. And then, yeah, that My Career is how you get a lot of badges, okay? So now I'll show you how to get all these shooting So badges. first, I'm going to show you how to get shooting badges really, really fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this clip. So basically, once you get the ball, you just want to run all the way to the corner, okay? Just run all the way to the corner. And call for a screen from your center. So you want to hold LB or L1 if you're on PlayStation. And look, he's going to like drop back and you can just shoot it every single time. The reason why he's dropping back is because he doesn't want to get hit by the screen. So yeah, um, he's going to, as long as you call for the screen, then he's going to step back every single time. And that'll leave you with a wide open shot, okay? Um, and you can do this every single time you get the ball. So yeah, as you can see, Jokic shoots that. And then yeah, I get the rebound. And I'm going to show you um, again. So look, as you can see, you just want to go all just back to the corner, and you want to call for a screen. And look, he backs up, and then you, you can just shoot it every single time. It's crazy, okay? Um, you can just shoot every single time. Um, you'll be wide open, okay? So... Okay, so I'm going to show you um, again. So this time I'm going to the right corner. And you just want to wanna hold LB or L1 if you're on PlayStation again. And look, he's going to back up every single time. Um, and look, I'm almost at my takeover. I already have nine points just from threes, and I'm almost at my takeover. So I think you should definitely use like corner specialist or like Hosman Hunter for this. But yeah. So as you can see, we get the ball um, again. So I'm going to show you this one last time. So again, call for the screen. Look, he's going to back up and then green every single time. This will help you get your hot spots too. You can, I think you can do this like anywhere on the court too. So this will help you get your hot spots. And as you can see, I already have takeover. But what I recommend when you're grinding shooting badges is just like, don't activate your takeover, okay? Because then they're just going to start double teaming you. Um, they're going to face guard you and all that stuff. Okay, so now I'll show you how to get your finishing badges. So, I have two methods here that you, that you can use. So, first one is just playing defense and just getting out on the break. So, you just want to play defense. Don't let them score. Try to just stop. And look, as you can see, he just goes for some dumb shot. And look, I'm already out on the break, okay? He's going to pass to me. And look, I have the small defender on me, so I can just go up over him. And then, yeah, I just finish at the rim. You can do that every single time. But I also have another method that you can use because sometimes like the guard will like, catch up to you and stuff and sometimes it just won't work. Okay, so this is the next method to uh, getting your finishing badges. So look, all you want to do, you just want to go to the hash and then hold LB and the center is going to set you a screen and you can just cut to the rim, okay? So look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewind this clip for you. So as you can see, you want to just like just run over to the hash. And then hold LB or L1 if you're on PlayStation just to call for a screen. He's going to say you a screen just to go to the corner. But instead, what you want to do, you just want to cut to the rim. Okay, you just want to cut to the rim. And then you'll have an open dunk every single time. As long as the center just isn't like in your face. But yeah, this is another um, really effective way. And I will show you another example here. Alright, so um, as you can see, um, you just want to call for another like off-ball screen. You just hold LB or L1 if you're on PlayStation. And look, he's going to say you a screen and you can just cut to the rim. And then, yeah, get the easy layup. So look, you'll, you'll be open almost every single time. Uh, just call for an off-ball screen and then literally just go to the rim, catch it, and then just go up. It's literally, it's really, it's literally that simple. 
and if you're a center, you could like, you can like try to get a switch on like the smaller player, and then like you try to back him down, go up for the layup. Um, it really depends on what position you are, what your play style is, all that stuff. Bro. So now I will be showing you how to get playmaking badges. Basically, the whole thing is just picking roll offense. Okay, so as you can see, you want to hold LB. And then look, he's gonna say you a screen. You just wanna wait. You can you can lob it or you can pass it if you want. But as you can see, I just lobbed it to AD. I'd recommend going to, for, to a team like the Lakers because you have dunkers like LeBron, AD, Dwight Howard, and all that stuff, right? So you can just do pick and roll offense. Um, it doesn't mean like you don't need to do a lob or any of that stuff. You you don't need to do a lob. Um, you can just get normal assists, you can still get a lot of playmaking badges, but I would recommend, like, throwing lobs, but you don't need to do so that. So, here's another example right here. As you can see, um, I'm going to the hash. Again, you want to hold LB, and look, you just want to pick and roll, and just pass it to him every single time. If it's AD, bro, and if he has a smaller play on him, player on him, then he's gonna hit it, like, 9 out of 10 times, alright? Especially if he's on, like, pro difficulty. But, yeah, um, like I said, it doesn't need to be a lob, it can just be any normal pass, you'll still get a good amount of playmaking badge process, but you will get more if you throw a lob, okay, just letting you know that. Alright, so here is another example. So, look, as you can see, I just go to the hash right here, and you just want to call for a screen, and then, look, you just want to, just, the center's gonna roll for you, and look, you just dot them every single time, and then you just get the assist. This will also help out with your teammate grade, um, like a lot. So, yeah, um, basically just pick and roll, and then dot the center, like, every single time, um, it'll work, trust me, it'll work. Especially if you're on pro difficulty, then the other team is just not gonna get a, they're not gonna get a seal, okay? So, yeah, this is a really effective way, and, all yeah, right, bro, so, the fourth and final way, uh, so really all you need to do, bro, um, is just try to get rebounds, okay? Try to get in box out position, you know, leave people open, so you can shoot, as you can see there, he just misses, and I grab the rebound. And then I dot my teammate, and then, yeah, he just he hits the three. But, yeah, basically, just try to get rebounds. Um, and if you're, like, you can try to, like, blitz the defender. If you don't know what a blitz is, it's basically where you go to the hip of the defender, and then, or the, not the defender, the, um, the ball handler. And then you try to get the steal, okay? Um, I wouldn't recommend that. I would personally just try to get rebounds. But, yeah, it's really simple, uh, really easy. And then I will, I do have another method, um, coming right up. So, um, this last method to getting your badges fast, this works for any kind of badge, okay, um, is the team practice. So, it doesn't show here, but after every single My Career game, you can go to the team practice, and you can just get, you can just grind out your badges, okay? Um, it's called the team practice facility, it's, like, right here, like, near VC Sports Management, and, like, where you load in and all that stuff. So, yeah, just walk into the team practice facility. And yeah, as you can see, my player is walking in to the facility. There's, like, the player shooting around and stuff. So, um, as you can see on the bottom of the screen, it says select skill to work on, okay? Um, that basically means you can select any kind of skill, finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defending. Uh, for this build, since I, want, since I want to go for shooting badges, I want to pick the shooting, okay? But you can do this when, with any kind of build. If you're built a finishing archetype, you know, you could just like do it do it with finishing but for me i'm going to do shooting and then look look at all these drills here um there's like easy medium and hard um but i'm just going to do this one but yeah um you can do this four times you can you can do um four drills four different drills they can be like an, on any like um archetype but yeah you can you sh this one you shoot um 23 pointers and like sometimes like on a rare occasions like an nba legend comes in and when an NBA legend comes in, um, you will be able to get times three badge progress, okay? Times three. So, that will be really key. So, if you're trying to grind, like, all your badges, especially, like, shooting badges, then I would really, really, really recommend coming in here. But you need to play my career first to be able to unlock this stuff where you can choose your drills. But, um, I, yeah, as you can see, I'm halfway through it. Ten. Now, now I'm 50. <laughs> I was literally greeting every shot before him. Now I'm 50. You'll have to see it. We had 12. Still stuck at 12. 13. Still 13. But yeah, if you get three stars, you will be able to get um 700. So if you if you're if you choose a medium and you get three stars, you will get 700. Okay, 700, and you'll be able to do that four times. That's 2,800. 
So that'll give you a pretty decent amount of badge progress. But yeah, as you can see, I finished that. And then yeah, my points, as you can see, um, 700. And then look, add 700 to your shooting. And then your shooting badge progress goes up, okay? So yeah, um, then you'll be able to do this three more times. But yeah, that that's basically it. Um, that is how you get your badges, bro. Um, if you like this video, um, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and, and if this helps you out, uh, make sure to comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, um, we're at 435 subs right now, let's get to 500 subs, and yeah, this is Zerable.